If you need to create characters for your e-learning or training scenarios, but the stock characters just aren't quite what you want, I've got some great news for you. Hey, it's Jeff with yourlearningcareer.com. So I'm really excited to tell you about a new feature that has been released within iSpring Suite, and that is the ability to customize the illustrated characters. Now, this is great because a lot of times, while there are a lot of really great variety of characters that you can use sometimes there are just these little adjustments you want to make um, that that aren't quite there so now you can really have more control over the way your characters look now if you're not familiar with iSpring suite you're going to want to check out this playlist i've got all kinds of videos talking about iSpring suite and various things you can do with it and then also if you want to find out more you can check out the link in the description below and by the way i would like to thank iSpring suite for sponsoring this video all right, so here I am in PowerPoint, and then of course I'm in the iSpring Suite tab within PowerPoint, and I've got my background ready to go for my e-learning scenario, uh, but now we need some characters that I wanna add to it. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna click on characters, and of course that's gonna bring up the content library, which as I mentioned, does have a very good variety of characters, both photo, characters and illustrated. Now for uh, this, I'm going to use illustrated characters and those are the ones that I can customize. To do that, I'm gonna go up here. Right now I'm on all characters, but I'm gonna go ahead and click custom characters over here on the left. And right now it shows that I don't have any custom characters yet. And so I'm gonna go ahead and create one. So I'll click on create character. And here I've got three options. I've got a male, I've got female here, another male, but with a different body type. So those are my three starter options. I'm gonna start with a female character. And then what I wanna do from here is go into appearance because now this is where I can see uh, a variety of other starter characters. And you can see I've got different types of uh, female characters, like in different occupations. I've got different ethnicities. So just, you know, depending on where I wanna start, I can pick one of these. So let's say I'm gonna pick this character and she's gonna be my starter. Now from here, I'm gonna show you the various options I have to further customize her, starting with her skin tone. So you can see I've got several different skin tone options here, but if I wanted an additional option, I can click on the plus button here and I can pick a standard color. I could pick, and you see that, look how, how it changes her color there. If I happen to have a hex code, I can put that here. I can use the eyedropper to grab the color of something on the screen, or I could use the RGB code. So I've got lots of different options, or I can move this guy around to different things. So I've got a lot of different options when it comes to colors. That's another way I can customize that skin tone. Now, if that's all I wanna do, I could certainly save the character but I'm gonna go ahead and go through all the different options just to show you all the varieties uh, that you have. So if I hit next, it's gonna go to this next item, which is hair. So under hair, you know, if I want a different hairstyle for her, I've got several options. I've got the different hats. Maybe I'll change it to this hairstyle. And then I can also change the hair color. So once again, I've got different colors that are there for me but if I want, I can always add a color. So maybe if I want it to be that shade of red, that's fine. If not, I'll leave it like it was. And then this element two, this deals with the whatever they're wearing on their head. So uh, if I, let me change that to blue so you can see. So see how that turned blue? And then if I scroll down, the hats have turned blue. 
So that's that element if I wanna change it. And then I can go to face, and for face, I have some colors that I can use to change the eye color. So that's what element one is here. It's the eye color if I wanna change that. And then element two will be the eyebrows. So if I want the eyebrows to be a different color, I have those options. And of course, again, I always have the plus for a different color, a customized color. Next, I will go to what my character is wearing. So I can change um, the top, I can change the bottom. Right now the top is uh, this, this uh, long sleeve shirt, but if I wanted to, I could add a jacket. Maybe I wanna make it a short sleeve shirt, I can do that. Uh, so you have some various options here. Again, the colors, I think you understand the idea behind the colors, you got color options and then you can add your own. And then for element two, if it was, if she had the jacket on, that would change the color for the jacket. Then the bottom, so right now she's wearing a skirt, maybe I want her to wear pants, I can do that. And there are different styles of pants, so that's what I can do there. I can change the color of the pants. Maybe I want them to be more formal, black pants. Or maybe I want her to wear a dress. So I can go to one piece here and I can change various styles of dress there. And then of course there are the shoes and I can change um, the color of the shoes. I can also change the color, like in, in this first one she's wearing maybe tennis shoes that have a sole. So I can change the color of the sole with um, element two. But like some of these, these are just one color, like the high heels and the flats. So that's what you can do with the shoes. And then moving on, you can go in and you can add glasses, uh, you know, regular like eyeglasses, you can add sunglasses. You can add a mask if you want her to wear a mask. Maybe, um, you know, if she works in a hospital or something like that. Or maybe you're doing something with customer service and you want her to have an earpiece. So you've got some options there. Again, I can make, I can color the earpiece differently however I want. And I also have an option for her to wear an ID badge. So that might be something that I wanna have. And once I've gone through all of those options, then my last thing I'm gonna do is just save. So once I have her created, I can give her a name and then I can also add any tags that I want. Cause you notice like over, you know, when I was first going into characters, they have different, different ways to narrow them down. So I could add tags here. If I scroll down, you can see some of the different, um, different tags that I can add and then I can save her. So now when I come back to this project or if I start a new project, I've got this character saved and I can use her again if I want. And then if I wanna add her to my scene, I'm just gonna click on her here. And I'll put the pose that I want her to be in and add to slide. And now my custom character is here in my scene. Now that I've got my character created, I am ready to build out my role play scenario. And if you want to find out how to do that within iSpring, you're going to want to check out this video next.